Oh, wow. Wow, dude. This is a hell of a mossy. Holy crap. Dude, this is like MVP mossy. Let's go, dude. <laughs> the value. It's so strong. Shaman. Okay. Um, well, Shudderwalk is horribly unfavored for us. If it's token... Uh, we actually do fine, I think. Because we just have so many board clears. I think we do perfectly fine against a token strategy shaman. Like, even shaman. Or the, the new token shaman. But we'll have to wait and see. Well, it's not even. So, I have to assume it's Shutterwalk. So we just need to be doing everything we can to pressure him. Just, like, do damage to him as much as possible. Yeah, this is Shutter Rock. Since we have a turn three play, I'm gonna go ahead and use a coin here. Another Terum. Yeah, all right, I'll take another Terum. I don't think we need two Terums, but eh, I'll take it. You never know. Yeah, this guy is just gonna be drawing cards the whole game. Let's get something powerful here. I'd rather have the Righteous Protector, I guess, in this scenario. We don't need three Terrams. We, we, won't, we won't have the time to play all three of them anyway. So on five, we probably Mechano Egg, I would assume. And then I'm thinking he probably hexes it, I will right? Show you. Yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna get any value out of my Wild Pyro qualities, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. I guess the bad thing here is if he plays Serenite, I can't Mossy it anymore. Mossy is kind of dead now. Because the good Mossy targets aren't really there. Oh. That's interesting. Well, whatever. We still play Mechano Egg. See if he wants to Hex it. How does he plan on activating the Acolyte? Does he really intend on volcanoing? Oh, wow. Wow, dude. This is a hell of a mossy. Holy crap. Dude, this is like MVP mossy. Let's go, dude. <laughs> the value. It's so strong. I love it. It's so good. Holy crap, dude. Holy crap. Volcano incoming, though. But damn, that was some sick fucking value. Shit. It's amazing. This guy's deck is ridiculous. Holy crap. Here we go. I can't believe he doesn't have a hex. Seems so unlikely he wouldn't have a hex here. I really want a um, another Mechano Egg so I can Umbra Mechano Egg. Or, or a Devil Star Egg is good too. A double Frost. So, so goofy. Wow, this guy is just like fucking freaking out. The greatest is so funny. Repent. Do I do anything there? No. Fuck it. Trade those in. Go face. And then next turn we Uther and we just start swinging face. He's out of freezes. He can't freeze us anymore. We have too many stats. He can. I guess he can uh, volcano and like. I don't know. I guess that would do a lot of work on the acolyte. So okay. Yeah, if he trades into the 8-8... Eight, eight. Oh, he trades the Umbra. Okay. It has to be a Volcano, right? I guess maybe no, because... Hex on the 8-8? Eight, eight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it sounds about right. We're just gonna go in. Oh, I lost some damage, goddammit. Oh, well. We're just going in. 
just infinite stats is what we're going for here. Uh, this does get blown up by, um, like, spell damage plus lightning storm, so maybe this is a bad play, but, like, I could have value traded and then, like, done it. I would have ended up with two less minions than I have right now. Actually, I would have had one more minion. There's Lightning Storm. Maybe this was just bad. This might have just been bad. Let's see if he has a, the other Lightning Storm. The other Hex. Another egg. Mm, egg's only good if I get cube. Lay on hands. Mm. Did I just start trying to punch through with my uh, Uther? Seems bad. He has. He definitely has some healing, right? So it seems like a bad way to, to do things. I don't have any cheap minions to play along with my uh, Terram, so I don't want to do that. Um, I don't know. I can just Mechano Egg... And Harrison. It's like a decent stuff. And that sets up for an okay Sunkeeper Terran play. Because he used hexes, so his board clears now are just kind of like whatever. Volcano? No, Life Drinker. Why do you give me an 8 8, dude? It doesn't make any sense. I just want to boot him in the fucking face. Put him to two. Like, he has to, like, Volcano and Clear here, which he can do. Like, that's definitely a thing he can do. He has the mana for it. He just trades a 3-3 three, three into my 3-1, trades the other guys into my minions, and he Volcanoes, and then he heals himself. Assuming he has, like, those two cards, but it's been forever. Like, that's obviously... It seems... He runs two copies of each, Volcano and Healing Rain. There's no way he doesn't have that. Come on, man. That volcano. Healing rain. There you go. You figured it out. Congrats, bro. You figured it out. He didn't have healing rain. Holy crap. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Whoa. We got super lucky on that one. Candle shot, eh? Having wild pyro and equality is really good. It's just a really good emergency valve. In case things go sideways on us. Oh, Devil Sore Egg. Would I ever use Doomsayer here? I think the answer is no. I think the right play here is just to pop this thing now. And then I guess I just have to like hit it in Consecration to kill it before turn 5 so he can't get a uh, cube on it. Yep, that's the play. We take a ton of damage, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. Stop any possible cube shenanigans. We can hopefully set up a Doomsayer this turn. <laughs> That's good. Because we can Mossy Horror all that stuff and get a 8-8, clear his board. Seems good, unless he plays Fungal Mancer. Hmm. We just have to play Zeliax here. 
him playing that that whelp completely countered our play because yeah we get an 8-8 eight, eight, and he gets a 7-7 seven, seven, but he gets to hit us in the face and we're halfway dead so that's kind of a bad thing when we're halfway dead he just gets to auto kill us oh christ dude Like, do we actually take this damage? Like, if I'm Mossy, I give him a 7-7 seven, seven, and a 5-5. Five, five. He already has a 7-7. Seven, seven. Um, I can kill a 3-3. Three, th three, three. I mean, I think I do it anyway. I kill that. I gain a little life. We get a quality consecrate next turn. We might just be dead. I mean, but I don't know. Like, that's the best play I could see. Like, we have to actually make headway towards killing this stuff. If we don't actually kill this stuff, we just, we just die, right? We just have no way of actually... The best case scenario for us here is that he trades his 7-7 seven, seven into our 8-8. Eight, eight, and then, like... Tries to do some crazy shenanigans here. He like tries to value trade and stuff. We can clear this. We're still at 15 life. We're fine. We're fine. How much mana would we need? It doesn't matter. We're just going to play the egg. To all that stuff, you get a 5 5. We're still at 15, not ideal, but we'll take it. That's both Devil Sword eggs and both whelps down. We can Kangor's Endless Army to get a nice taunt. Freaking serious with this? Like, what is this, dude? It's insanity. We're just going to aggro. Screw this shit. Do I hit that? That's the question. I mean, I get health. And it doesn't let him get value out of his weapon, so I guess we do it. Let's just get some incremental value into that thing. Ooh, I wonder what this does. This gives me a lot of life. Gives me another 88. Seems good, man. Nice. Nice! Wow, okay. That was looking super sketchy that one turn, but damn, dude.